Oh, sweet. <laughs> I love it when you I do that. I got lucky. I got lucky. Jam. Yes, sir. Look at that. There he is. Mr. Mike does not swing an axe. <laughs> Never in my life have I swung an axe. So let's get... Is this what we're going to chop on or are we going to chop no, this one? No, 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 no. We don't chop on stuff. We chop on the ground. <laughs> well, I okay. do. Okay. Someone like you. And what you do, I think something like a maul is a good idea because a maul is supposed to be what? A lot of effort in one swing, but it goes through the wood and you're done splitting. Okay. Right? And that's what this is, eight pound maul. So, was that, a, was that a Fiskars? That's a Fiskars. That's a Fiskars Isocore. That's an eight pound maul and it also has the deal where, so if you're splitting really big rounds, you come in here and you can hit on this too. If you need to split, you like real big rounds. And again, I, I got this Fisker stuff because this is something that anybody can just go and get. You know, you can't go get like a vintage axe everywhere. Where am I going to get a Fisker's like that? Fisker's like any kind of big box stores like Lowe's. Well, I don't know if Lowe's. I think Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot. Okay, all over the place. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, now this is... This is a good all around... It's kind of beat up. I use this a lot. It's a X27 Fiskars, and I've had it for a few years, but uh, I keep this thing outside. You know, you got the composite handle. This does too. This has a rubber grip here, though. This doesn't have anything. It's kind of, it has a grip, but not. So, but this is the X27. It's about 36 inch length too, and it's not even close to as heavy as this. You know, this is eight pounds. This is probably, honestly, this might be three pound head three three and a half maybe um, and uh, but it's a lot sharper see the profile on this see the profile between these two you know this is more this is more like a splitting axe and this is a maul you can see the difference in the profile but it's uh this is more like a maul you know some big stuff and um, this is more to go in the wood you know like an axe so, um, okay, and then you get with like a typical splitting axe, you know, that's just a single bit head. Like I made this one, it's just like a, see, but that's more of a splitting profile. See how it's fatter in the cheeks here? It's not real super thin. It is thin for an axe, splitting axe, but it's not that thin. It's got fatter cheeks here. And the profile is more of a splitting edge instead of a chopper. So this is this is nice too. But I'll show you what, what I do here in a second. And this is uh, the same deal, but in a double bit. This is my poor man's buck and special that Why I made. Why would you have a double-sided one like that? Um, uh, you can put a different edge on each side. So if you were going out in the woods, uh, or you could put the same edge on both sides, it does, you know, and save your edge. Um, you know, if you if you're going out in the woods with this and you had to do some like if you had to uh, fell a tree and you wanted a, a chopping edge on it, that that could be the one edge. And then if you wanted to do some splitting with the other edge, you could have that. And this is kind of set up like that, but um, depending on the wood. But it's more a thin splitting profile and a thicker splitting profile. So that's what we got there. Now something this size here, I would just take one of these, you know, and split with. But uh, again, I want you to split with something that you can just go, you know, go and in, go into the uh, store and get if you wanted, right? So in my my, the, I use this thing. If I'm splitting for just firewood and. You know, just go. I just grab this thing. You know, I I don't know. Seventy percent of the time, I probably grab this, that, and my double bit. So, so what's the technique? So the technique on on gloves or no gloves? I like no gloves, but I just think you can get a little bit better grip. This is how I split. I I don't know how everyone else does it, but I I've never been injured or anything, and and I am pretty you know safety conscious, but. You know, the first thing you do is you, you kind of, you know, you want to like get, you see, this is a long handle, see? And when you split wood, you want to try to start at the edge of the, the round right here. Yeah, so you want to go right there. You don't want to go in the center. You don't want to hit in the center. 
and you don't want to hit on that, that side if you're swinging from this way. And if it's a really big round, you might not be able to split this halfway. You, you might have to like chip it off from the sides, okay. like a really big round. Now I watch a couple guys who do some splitting and they'll try to split with the crack already there. So we're yeah, gonna try yeah, to split yeah, crack. yeah, we're getting to that. So okay. I can see a really good crack right here. And this is ash, so it has a lot, of, when it dries out, it has a lot of, right? This is ash, yeah, right? Yeah. It has a lot of uh, cracks already in it, so it really doesn't matter. But, um, and ash is, when it's dry, is relatively easy to split. But now with this axe, I don't worry, I don't worry about doing what they call the flick. Okay, bucking got the flick all popular. It's a, and it's a good technique, but it's more for like, I'll show you with this double bit. So basically, you can split on the ground, but if you, if you go through the wood and you hit the ground, over time you might hit a rock or blah, 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 and it might chip away the edge and you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so there's this flick technique, basically, I'll do it in slow motion. Basically, when you come down, your ax, as soon as it hits, it flicks, okay, like, like that, and it like splits the wood, and, you, and your ax never hits the ground. So that's kind of what that is. It's more of an advanced technique. That's why I grabbed this. Nothing we're going to get into today. <laughs> Nothing we're going to get into today, bro. But I like this because I don't care about this. And I hate, that might sound bad, but this is cheap, but it's very effective. What's that, the X this is the X27, one of the most popular splitting axes you can get. Okay. And you just throw this thing <laughs> somewhere. Next time you go to split wood, you pick it up. I mean, it's waterproof, it's everything. I mean, it's, you know, people make fun of these because, you know, the purists, but it's, it's a great tool. It's great because you, uh, you don't have to worry about it. You know, like, you know, this isn't a glamor show, you know, you're doing this for, to make money, right? So this is the kind of tool that you need. You know, that's just how it is. I, yeah, I, don't, yeah, know, yeah. I don't know how to say that nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I've gone so long without having So it. there's a couple way, pe way that, uh, ways that people actually split with an ax. And a lot of people will come to the side and go, ah, you know, and, and they're so used to it that it works great. And that's fine for them. I don't like that. I like accuracy. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just kind of trained from my dad that way. I always hold mine like this to the side and put this right in the center, okay? And then come straight up, okay? That's how I do it. I always, I always kind of bend my knees just a little bit, come straight up and straight down because you're more accurate usually. And if you ever get your ax stuck, never try to pull it, always push it down like that. Okay. Yeah, um, so, so basically, yeah, you just kind of, if you bend down, you kind of see where you're gonna hit so you know where you're at, so you know where your feet can be. And do it like that, and then, oh. That's the, obviously the first place I pick is where the knot is, right? There it goes. But see, it's cracked, and the, where I hit it over there is cracked, where I hit it here is cracked. I like to keep it like that, because- You don't like this to come apart. Correct. Okay. I like the round to stay all in one thing. That's just my preference. And I like to go around the wood, you know, and do that. So, see, and eventually, also you can do this. Put your foot here and kind of do that number. Uh -huh. Again, you break this ax. If you break this ax, you bring it back to the store and they give you a brand new one. This ax. Yeah. So, see how it stays there and then like that. Well, here, I'll do it how you're supposed to do it. So you don't have to bend over. I'm, I'm teaching you bad habits. <laughs> okay. Oh. So that's manageable now. Yeah. Now you can pick that up and do whatever. Or you can keep splitting, which is what I would do. But when I split, I always split to the grain with an ax. In other words, you wouldn't split. Yeah. 
That didn't work. You wouldn't split this, this Correct. Way, you split this way. Correct. Split with the cracks. Okay. Yeah, you still that it's doesn't matter on your machine, right? But so. Yeah, well, there's that knot again. Yeah. So yeah. Ugh, look at that. So yeah. Nasty. One more here. But yeah, I like these. Uh, this is my favorite to split with. Is this? It's oh, it's just right now. It's deadly. All right. So what one should I start with here? Yeah, the outside of the round is where you want to hit. Yeah. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. On um, this one's probably not going to matter much, but out there is where yeah, I want. Don't do this. Make sure you're pretty straight. Okay. Okay. Here. So like this, right? Yeah. So you got this at the end. Uh huh. Okay. Now stretch out to see if that's where you're going to hit it. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. No matter, you can't screw that axe up. Okay. Make it straight, straight up. Straight up. Come back. No, so yeah, 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 yeah. Just come straight up, straight down, and bend your knees like that. You know, right. never. Straight up and yep. straight down. Yes, sir. Okay. Don't, yeah. See, so when I, the most important thing for safety is bend your knees and look. See how the axe is going straight down? Uh huh. See, so I got it straight down? Yeah. You don't want to do this. Because they come back and get you. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a fear, right? Straight up. Yes, sir. Look at that. There he is. And see, that's a good thing about the axe, the long handle. You can pick these rounds up with it. Look at that. So see, just you can just yeah, do that number, and I usually use my foot too. But okay. And then you can eventually you kind of get a feel of what oh, your absolutely. length is, right? Absolutely. You're natural. Look at that. All day long, man. <laughs> yes. Axes for sale. Axes for sale. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do some more of that. The round is already split mm -hmm. or, or uh, blocked with your saw. It's so much easier to split it. Oh. So see how oh. I kind of struggle a little bit on the round? Yeah. Well, it's... While everything's compressed. Let's try this one. Got it? Yeah, you won't be able to just split like that. Yeah, the wood like compresses until you break it once. It's weird. Try this bad boy one. Same technique? Same technique. <laughs> Except this is eight pounds. <laughs> yeah, What's what was that other one? About three and a half pounds. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> Dude, this thing's... Yeah, you miss with this thing. It's... <laughs> About like that? I feel like I'm a little too close. Yeah, remember, push down. Yep, there you go. How's come I didn't break? <laughs> didn't swing hard enough? All right, I want that other one. Right? I want the other one. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't swing out all day long. No. No, you wouldn't want to swing out all day long. Bear. And I really wasn't, I didn't line that up very, I guess I did. Had a crack there. I was, Put it right in there on the yeah. crack and see what you can do. And then you put your foot on it and yep. kind of. Yep, there you got him. Look at that. Natural, man, I'm telling you. We might have to run to Lowe's here in a minute. <laughs> uh oh. So down, not up, right? Split it all the way when you're doing that, Lee. It's more, it's split more yeah. than it would be. You know what I mean? So, would you go ahead and hit that again or move? Effort for you the next time. Yeah. That's would, why I like that little. Would you go ahead and hit it right there or would you move no, on? I would move over now. Okay. Because that's ready to go. Yeah, unless it 
goes really deep, you can't do the old swoop technique. You need a name. Hey! Doug special. Yeah. Look at that. See, I'm even, I'm even getting the even getting the tricks. <laughs> Maybe not. I spoke too soon. You see, yeah, the sisters, I, mean, I really don't care if I hit the ground or not. I just run a file across it a couple times. And... I've seen you do this before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I better it's... not do that. Here, let me try it. Let me try it. <laughs> it's, it's kind of hard because you do have to go sideways. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I love it when you I do that. I got lucky. I got lucky. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that'll split now. Yeah. If somebody would have cut that square with a chainsaw. <laughs> yep, that's knotty. It's got a big knot right in it. There you go. You got loose. You got the foot technique down and everything, my man. Look at that. One more. Yeah. Okay, day. One time, baby. One time. Ah! Awesome. Yeah, man, that is awesome. Yeah. That's fun. It is fun. I tell you, in the fall, you can burn some good calories, good, good water. Oh, yeah. Fall, summer. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. My days like today, Woo! I will not split wood. Mm -mm. Well, that was fun, Doug. Thank you. Got some hand split fire. Hand split. KNL Firewood, baby. Fiskars X27. Get you one. I'm gonna. Look at that. All day long, man. Oh, sweet. I love it when you do that. I got lucky. I got lucky.